Hey guys, Jay here, Ramley Camper Van, and I think I got something here you guys might really like. This is the Magic Chef 0.9 cubic foot wash machine. Now, I don't know if you guys saw the last video I did on the Panda wash machine, but this is what I had upgraded to. So if you didn't see that video, go ahead and watch that one. It's the Panda wash machine. And I upgraded to this one because it does slightly larger uh, loads of laundry but it's all automatic and it's it's uh as you can see here it's a, a digital system it's all automatic and this is why i upgraded so that i don't have to do all the extra steps like i had to do with the panda this one you throw the clothes in you press the button and that's it then the clothes are done and you're good to go so i wanted to show you guys this it is also very solar friendly very small energy conserving it's just an awesome wash machine you guys will really enjoy this one so let's get into it i'm going to show you a bunch of the features all right guys first thing first is how big is this wash machine it is 17 inches deep oops sorry i'm just struggling with the one hand here about 16 and a half wide and about I'd say 31 31 inches tall all right let me set the camera up on the tripod and we'll get into it a little bit further all right guys so here it is the magic chef 0.9 cubic foot wash machine uh, let's take a look inside here as you can see, this has a stainless steel uh, drum. Now, the other one was all plastic. This is a little, a little bit of an upgrade for that. Another thing is it has a much more efficient um, lint trap. And this just comes off and you open it up here and take the lint out and I already cleaned this. But this thing will get full almost every single load. And it's very simple to just pull that off. I'm going to tilt you guys forward a little bit so you can see the down in here you can see the the uh, agitator and that works quite a bit better than the other wash machine that I was showing you guys all right now another thing about this wash machine is it's all automatic you basically just set the set the the washing preference and let it go and this also does spin dry as well it also has a a, a glass top that you can see perfectly through and that's awesome so what so it comes with this hose and i just hook that to my shower hose with a little adapter that i got from home depot so you can just leave it on and with this one instead of turning it on so instead of just turning the um, the water on, you know, to load to to fill up the wash machine like the other one, this one all you have to do is you could actually just leave this one on. Sorry, I'm just adjusting the camera here. Um, you could actually just leave the water on here. So I'll just turn these on. It's considered a cold only wash machine, but I use warm water and I don't have any issues whatsoever. So you no, know, I'm going to go through a couple of the options here. And you turn it on with the power button. There is a stop and pause button. When the door is open, it will give you an error if you're trying to watch close. So it will stop when you open the, the lid. It has, it has uh, several different options here for, uh, the, for programming. Uh, heavy load, gentle load, normal load, rapid load, and then a soak option. So you just select whichever one you want here. Right now it's on heavy. Then you come over to the next button. This is load size. Load three is large, load one is small, two is medium. So one, two, and three, small, medium, and large. The next option is wash. And this is the amount of minutes that you want it to wash for. And it goes anywhere between one and 15. All right, and then you got the rinse button that does anywhere from uh, one rinse 
two rinses, three rinses, and four rinses. This is this is just complete rinse cycles. However many, uh, if one through four is how many actual rinses you want it to go through. All right, and then the spin is how many minutes you want it to spin for, and that goes anywhere from one to nine minutes. All right, so those are all the options there. And then of course, there over here, there's a start and pause button. So you have so many different, and with each of these uh, programmable options here, the heavy, gentle, normal, rapid, or soak, all of these options will change for you as well. You could, uh, there's there's a lot more. I usually just do heavy, load size, either one through three, small, small through large, and then wash time, I usually just do the max at 15 minutes. I usually just do two rinses, and I usually just do um, the spin for uh, uh, two minutes, and that's more than enough. So let's, uh, and then what it does is it shows you the amount of minutes it's going to take to complete that. I have the longest one I could possibly select pretty much here, and that's going to be an hour uh, from the time it's washing to the time it spins and you're ready. Uh, this one also does have the, um, the, the beeping noises to let you know when it's done. Uh, it'll also beep if there's any sort of error or anything like that. So let me go back through these here. I'll do 12 minutes. I'll do two rinses and two minutes spin. So uh, what that did is it just almost cut the time in half. So and this is this is what I usually use. So it'll be a, a one through three lo a load size, and then a wash of twelve minutes, a rinse of two different rinse cycles, and then spin for two minutes. That's going to give me a total of thirty-eight minutes total time. So let me go ahead and start a load. I do want to add about this wash machine that it, unlike the Panda model that I showed in a previous video, this one does have a built-in drain pump. So you, you do not have to have this elevated over a drain for gravity feed. This one actually does pump out all of the water. Um, so there's no worry with that. All right, guys. So what I got here for a load today is just to give you an idea of how uh, how much you can put in here. I got one full-size bathroom towel, one pair of cargo shorts, boxers, t-shirt, two pairs of socks, and another pair of shorts. And that's about a good size for, for this. So we'll go ahead and close the lid and we'll hit the start button. You know what, let me uh, add my soap here. There's the error, but error I was talking about. Error two when the lid is open. You close that back down, it will start right back up. So this is gonna go ahead and fill up right now. Um, as you can see back here, it does have a, um, uh, it, it, is, it is using power, um, and that's probably just the digital display here. It looks like it's only using eight watts. Eight to 8.1, 8.2 watts before it's washing. Um, as far as the amps go, it's almost non-existent at 0 0.08 amps. All right, we'll just leave that at watts. I'm gonna let this fill up and then I'll get right back with you when it starts washing. All right, guys, now, it is in its wash cycle. So again, it is going to automatically go through the wash cycle, the rinse cycle, and the spin cycle. I'm not gonna have to do anything. I can just let it go now. But I do wanna show you the power consumption and I also wanna show you it washing as well. So I'm gonna lean you over so you can see what's going on here. Hopefully you could see that. You notice, unlike the other wash machine, the Panda wash machine, this one goes back and forth much quicker so it does not tangle clothes. I have not had tangled clothes in this wash machine yet. Okay, now as far as the power, we have, it's kind of alternating because it's going quickly back and forth. So there is a stop in power and then a start. So it's, it's kind of, uh, uh, back and forth here now, um, but it is at the most as far as I've seen so far. It's only pulled at the most 170 watts 
so it looks like for each rotation right it's around 170 and, and rotation left 170 and in between it's stopping it's not using any power really except for the LCD screen um, and that's why you're seeing it jump around because the monitor is not coming completely down to zero it's just going back and forth alternating all right and let's check the amps all right on amps it looks like the highest is about 117, 1.7, 1.77, 1 1.72. Yeah, so basically, so the right spin would be a, you know 1.7 amps and the left spin about 1.7 amps and then the stop in between. So it's just jumping back and forth and that's again why it's not showing you a solid number. All right, so I'm gonna let this cycle go. I set it for 12 minutes, and then I'll turn on the camera again once we get into the rinse cycle. All right, so it just started, uh, just stopped washing, and right now it's pumping the water out, it's draining, and then it's gonna go into the rinse cycle in a minute. And this is at the end of the cycle where it's draining all the water that it actually does a little bit of a spin to help drain out all of the water. And this spinning feature, while it's draining all the water, uses a 166 watts, or 1.38 amps. And here, after that drain and spin, now it's going to do two rinse cycles, which it's going to fill it up and agitate it, and then pump the water back out, and it's going to do two of those cycles. All right, so it just filled up its first rinse cycle, and now it's going to agitate for a little while, and then it's going to spin out that rinse cycle. All right, so here it is spinning out that rinse cycle, and it's going to do that whole cycle one more time because I set it up for two rinses. So I'm not going to show that all over again. All right, so now it's on the very last uh, um, cycle, which is a spin cycle. And as you can see, it's using 163 watts and 1.36 amps. And now it's just finishing up. All right, so it just completely finished its entire cycle. Um, they're, they are done. The spinner is off. It drained out all the um, water and it, it beeped, I believe it beeps like five or six times to let you know it's done, and then it turns off by itself. So basically after that, it's just up to you to grab your clothes out and hang them up or dry them however you see fit. And these are, these are really quite dry. These are cargo shorts, and these are really quite dry. So I'm gonna hang these up, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I'm done hanging up the clothes, and uh, let's just check the lint trap. Yep, see? And there, there was no lint on the clothes, so it did take off whatever lint was, was there. Uh, this one, this, this lint trap works quite a bit better than the, than the other one. All right, guys, so that is the Magic Chef 0.9 cubic capacity digital wash machine. As you saw, it, it used basically the same amount of power as the other wash machine, the Panda. So this thing is very energy efficient. It actually holds quite a bit of clothes for, for being 0.9 cubic feet. As you saw up there, I have all the clothes that I just did that are dry, and that's one load. Again, that's a towel. Um, that is a two pairs of shorts, two pairs of socks, uh, a t and a t-shirt, and a pair of boxers. So it does quite a bit. Um, it does quite a bit for, for how small it is. And I believe it's about 38 pounds, so you can move this around uh, just as easy. Um, this machine, because of its automatic features where you literally just choose the washing mode and hit start just like a normal household washer this one by far i think beats the the panda or those those models where you have to get involved with each cycle this one does all of it with the push of a button 
Now, um, I definitely recommend this one. This thing is awesome. I bought this at Home Depot, um, and it was at the Home Depot website, and I believe it was $169 or so when I got it, um, and I've been using it for about eight months now without a single problem. This thing is awesome. I definitely recommend it. It is way better than the other one. And I know a lot of people are getting those those other wash machines. This is definitely a much better option. It doesn't take up any more room. In fact, it's kind of smaller. Um, does more uh, does actually more load, uh, more laundry per load. So I would recommend this. I would look I would look into it if I were you guys. The thing is awesome. This has made my life a lot easier doing laundry. All right, and that is what I wanted to show you as far as uh, the upgrade from the previous model. All right, and you guys take care and have a great and wonderful day.